Capricorn, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We're gonna start here with the oracle card spread and then do a full extended tarot card spread and romance reading energies for the next seven to 10 days. Whenever you see this video, it'll carry you out through then. Um, because this is an energy reading, this is for sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Capricorn influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies. Remember, if it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. Maybe it the message may just not be for you, but let's get into it and see. Capricorn, Capricorn. There you go. Popping out. Capricorn, 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 sun, moon, rising energies. What is the energies that are starting up? In reverse one check just to make sure that the deck wasn't in reverse okay we have embrace the in-between this is unbalanced and be loyal to what you love this is sort of self betrayal so there is a definite disharmony this this week or this coming week a uh, challenge with um, a challenge with you believing that everything is going to be good. A challenge with you believing in yourself. A challenge with you, um, a challenge almost like a temptation to do things against your soul or against your soul's purpose because um, you're worried about something. You're worried about practicalities and pragmatism and you know getting the rent paid and stuff like that. All the things that make sense to worry about, but there's a sense of it getting in the way of that larger picture because there is this disharmonious Libra energy. It could also be literally, there's a Libra coming in that it has not been so loyal and has not been so faithful. But as we begin this Mercury retrograde, it could lure some exes back. All oh, my exes live in Texas, but now somehow they're on my freaking front doorstep, you know? That kind of energy of um, somebody that was imbalanced or unstable and not as good to you as they should have been coming back into your life and kind of throwing you off and making you doubt things and making you feel, you know, like sort of regretful for things that you shouldn't be regretting. We get into this melancholy period when we go in, not melancholy, yeah, kind of melancholy period when we go into a retrograde. Retrograde will start on the 17th, by the way. So that'll take us out to about seven days out. But we're in shadow period right now. And I tell you, shadow period is usually in terms of retrogrades, it's worse than the retrograde, Mercury retrograde itself. So be prepared for that and be prepared for the fact that um, February 14th is coming and that is Valentine's Day and the moon will be in Scorpio on Valentine's Day. So intense emotions. Maybe even emotions that are coming from buried deep down, uh, definitely sensuality and wanting to be close. But I think a moon in Scorpio really highlights our psychic abilities. So it's almost like, um, you, I mean, you just might get some insights or feel connected or some, some just like feel connected without even words. I feel like there is also this sense of drawing back the dead into your life. So there's, there Capricorn is this energy of could very well be something destabilizing your sense of security, something destabilizing you because it's come back and emotionally it sort of not wrecked you, but threw you off when it was in your life the first time. So it coming back is having the same effect. And I think it's just exacerbating this feeling of disassociation from your, from, from what you really want inside, what really matters to you, like what's really important to you. Cause I know you put, um, the practical always above, um, even the spiritual. So this is sort of a, a, like a conflict of interest here is like, um, I'm working really hard, but why aren't I happy? Things like things like that coming into play. So there's this over our overarching struggle here that I'm that I'm getting by this energy, this this crowning energy, this energy that's crowning your reading. So let's get into the rest of the reading. Ooh, so so much. All these cards are flipping upside down. I don't know why. The miracles are endless is upside down. It doesn't mean that the miracles are not endless. It just means that it's almost like a cup, a cup wanting to be filled um, could be a, expectations of some sort. If you see upside down, it looks like, you know, it's like ringing a dinner bell right side up. This is Taurus energy. 
But once again, it's almost like destabilized earth energy. It's not just, um, it's not solid, it's stagnated. It's, it's like there's stagnation going on and it's like wanting your cup to be filled, but it being emptied. And, but also this is, um, wait, this is the sense of taking root. Um, I, I think that emotionally, emotionally, you just want to feel connected to something. That's what it is. Um, you want to feel stable. You want to feel a part of things and the problem, and you're ready. You're ready to just feel rooted. It's almost what you desperately want, but for some reason it still eludes you and it's like the cup still needs to be full, but there is this energy of rooting yourself, of wanting to root yourself. Um, maybe even, even sort of forcing the issue because you're tired of waiting. Let's see how that pans out. Take the lead. All right, all right. There's a little bit of grounding here coming in a very, through a very innocent, sort of innocent, maybe even a child helping you to understand, looking into the future, helping to remind you of who you are, the direction that you should take. Um, still here. Giraffe, see the big picture. So this is sort of a reminder, this very innocent, sweet energy, wide-eyed energy, Taurus energy, looking out into the future, staying grounded, but still being able to see past the horizon and see not necessarily the future, but the distance, to see in the distance so that you're not just sort of making decisions based on what's right here. And I don't think that you want to, I just think it might take a little bit of help. You know, you might have to ask somebody else to help you out and say, hey, what do you see from up there? You know what I'm saying? So this would be a good time. Nine plus two is 11. This is awakening. Awakening to what you really want and what really makes you happy. And it could be because of this visit or this reminder of something that destabilized you or I guess even betrayed you from the past. Boy, Capricorn, I tell you, you guys are the only ones that could turn that kind of heartbreak into something that could work for you. Because you can make everything work for you. Um, hold on. Hold on. The central energy is know your worth. So this is the lesson that you needed to be reminded of. Five plus nine, uh, five plus four equals nine. That is the energy of something bubbling up or coming to the surface. So I think what has come back or sort of what you feel from the past or experienced from the past, whatever's coming bubbling up is actually helping you to rediscover who you are. It's helping to reaffirm your worth or your value. It may even be you seeing something from afar and seeing how somebody else ended up or getting some insights into how somebody else ended up and really feeling better about yourself because of it. Um, just because you realize that, you know, you were worth better the whole time. And this was something that you could have really gotten stuck in or caught up in. You could have fallen in love. You could have, you know, had this false sense of false sense of not false sense, but, um, this sense of loyalty to somebody that was false, that wasn't, that wasn't good for you. So, hold on. Hold on. Love is all around, okay? This is communication. This is hope. Um, this is that Gemini energy, which is mercurial. Um, I'm not sure I trust this. Hold on. I know that sounds... Transformation is beautiful. Um, butterfly. Um, hold on. Wait. Overcome any obstacle. There's a real change or turnaround here. I want to show you guys the cards because there's a real switch in energy. There's a lot of energy that was upside down at first. Almost feeling like you were stuck. You know, like you, right in the beginning of the week or overall, feeling like you're stuck in muck, like that ground that isn't solid. Kind of remembering all of those things or having this reminder come back into your life that really like hit you hard at a time when you couldn't really lose much more steam, right? Just this energy of 
of why is this coming back, not to haunt me, but to remind me of my failures or to make me feel like a fool. But then actually being able to see and realize that, you, in other words, it's giving you some insight. It's helping you to see once you look beyond the immediate of its return or, um, you know, um, it, I say it because it could be a person or, or just a circumstance or situation. Once you look beyond it and you see and you realize that it, it came, it, it's good that it came back into your life. It came back into the forefront of your attention for a second because what it showed you was you were so much better than this. Like there's so you're so much bigger than it. You you now understand and can experience what you really you know what you really want. It's it was almost like just when you were about to let go of what you want and settle again, this thing that you almost settled for in the past comes back into your view and to show you what you would have been stuck with if you had settled back then. And so even though it made you feel degraded at that time when you lost this opportunity or this person's attention, now that you found out where that person ended up, you realize that it was a blessing in disguise and you're now applying it to this new situation where you were just about to give up. You were just about to throw in the towel and settle for something that you know wouldn't make you happy but you, you needed it, quote unquote, you needed it to feel stable, but now you're really, but it's almost like that intervention came in just at the right time to say, but it's not going to make you more stable. It's not, it's going to, it's going to make you feel more stable for a second. And then it's going to be just more muck or more earthquakes, or, you know, it, it's not going to turn out the way you think it's going to turn out. And this reminder from the past is there, it's, it's there as a juxtaposition. It's there to help you realize, don't do this again. Because when you felt like a fool before, or, or when you felt like settling before, this is what you would have been stuck with. And it's not good. You got saved by not being stuck with this stuff. You got saved. So Capricorn, you're about to get saved by a memory again. You're about to get saved by a, by a visit from the past again. You're about to get saved. Um, By your own life lesson, slow and steady wins the race. This is your stabilizing energy, is your emotions, your feelings. Don't discard them. Don't throw them away. Respect them, honor them, and understand them. You don't have to rush in or make... This is, this is slow and steady wins the race. This is turtle energy. Turtle enters the race for one reason. Because he wants to race. The joy of racing. That's why Turtle enters the race. Turtle didn't enter the race to win or to prove himself better than anybody or to beat Rabbit. Turtle entered the race because he wanted to race. He was interested in the race. And that's the grounding energy that I think is going to sort of knock you back to your senses when you realize that um, I have to do this because I love it. And if I don't love it, I'm not going to do it. Because the truth is, if I don't love it, I'm not going to be able to pay the attention that I need to pay to actually get the success that I want from it. You know, I have to do this long term. I have to be able to commit to it long term. Oh, wow. This is um, stabilizing energy of your heart space. It's also this energy up here. Um, oh, a hidden card. Ooh interesting that kind of just shook me life is a mystery is coming out destiny it's almost like destiny is masked right now your lover the lover that you're destined for is masked you don't see them right now you don't know them right now you may feel them a little bit but at, at right now if they're unseen but this is this is a confirmation that they're here or it's some sort of hidden love or hidden lover or trying to hide your heart because this came out and this was underneath. So this is sort of like what's lurking beneath the surface. Slow and steady wins the race and co-create with spirit. This is also the energy of eight, one plus seven. There is destiny afoot this week to eight, eight, eight. Six plus two is eight, blatantly eight. And then one plus seven is also eight. 
All of these things mean destiny is at foot. Something about lovers, a lover. It could have been a lover returning, could be a lover from the past, could be a lover that's never stopped thinking about you, that still feels connected to you, that's always wanted to reconnect with you or, you know, or just like there is, there is like this hidden, almost connection, this beneath the surface. I can't really, wow. It, it's taken a long time for this to come around too. Wow. There is sort of some sort of this energy. I'm trying to get it. Give me a second. Hold on. This is going to be confirmed when we go into the Romantic Tarot. Um, and do check out the Romantic Tarot link above. I want to actually, hold on. Let me flip around the cards. Hold on. I always say flip around the cards, and that is not what I mean. I mean flip around the camera. Let's flip the camera angle. See? We start off really kind of wonky, really kind of unstable. There's this energy of this. This is Cancerian energy too, loyal to a fault, but it's reversed. It's upside down. It's unbalanced. There is this almost like codependent energy to it. But then there seems to be this sort of turnaround, this understanding, this opening up and broadening. Um... And like I said, it's almost like being reminded of something from the past coming back and reminding you really how beautiful your life is right now or that you really shouldn't settle because things can really surprise you. This happens to be also matured Cancerian energy as if there's been development in terms of your home and your heart space and the way that you love people. Um, really this beautiful energy of somebody who actually loves and wants to take care of you. Energy of love, four plus two is six. And then it's six surrounded by eight. So it's love that's destined, love that has been in the works, um, being created for you by spirit, um, something that has been disguised or something maybe that didn't appear to you as um, abundant or as worth it as it would have been at first. This is sort of, um, this is, this is uh, just, it, the timing had to be right. And I feel like if this was somebody that you already knew or a situation or an opportunity that, yeah, somehow it was already in your life and it, it never really came to fruition. I don't think this would have been a complete and total X, but I do believe this is an implication that somebody has been watching you or trying to get in touch with you. Um, and honestly, I don't know if you're going to be so into giving them a second chance, but I, I have to say, it's almost like I said in the read, like reading earlier, there's this energy of a love that will transform you and help you really get through some really difficult times, Capricorn. This is, this is a change in love and change in the way that you communicate um, love or communicate with your lover an opening and a broadening expansion a change could be a change of heart um, about some energy that needed time in and of itself to get itself together and mature a little bit get into a better place um, this is really this is really awesome I think that let me see where we are I don't want to take too much of your time Hmm. I just feel there's such a warm, loving energy, but it's also, you know, be loyal to what you love. Remember how I was saying you, you have, you were about to make the wrong decision. This could be somebody coming back from your life that wanted you, but you don't really want. And you were about to get into a relationship with them just because you want a relationship so bad but something happens to sort of intervene and say, nope, remember the last time that you settled? Remember what happened? We need to get you back to this place of being stable, of not feeling alone, of realizing that you really aren't alone because as long as you're connected to spirit and what it is you truly love, that's going to lead you to where you want to be in love. Don't rush things and don't rush in. 
Don't jump in over the next seven days to something that you may end up regretting just because you want it to happen and you want it to happen now. I think that's the overall because there are beautiful things happening, but they're just taking root and starting to grow now. So if you get that call from somebody from your past, I think you can enjoy it for what it is, which is attention and recognition of who you are. But think about how you feel when you hear their voice. Think about how you feel when they break through to you. Are you happy to hear from them? Because if you're not happy to hear from them, then you don't even have to return their call. You really don't. If you're not happy to hear from them, then, you know, don't get into it just because maybe that's the only offer on the table right now. And that includes work. This is not just a romance situation. This is a where is your heart Capricorn? Is it making you happy? Because yes, happiness has to come first. I understand that you want to work. I understand that it's important. And if you're in a place where you're completely happy in work, then this definitely has something to do with your love life. You know, don't let it be or let something go just because it's the easy way out. You really have to ride it out to be true to yourself and, and what it is that you really, the expectations that you really have. Um... Yeah, this is really interesting. Let me let me go over to tarot and clarify. Um, that's going to be in the extended link below Capricorn. And remember that the romance reading is over there too. There's a lot to be clarified with romance. So I'll see you guys over there. 